This tutorial will cover how to create an OAT campaign. First, we'll go over to My Spaces. Then we'll go over to the space we'd like to create the campaign in. And then we'll head over to the large blue Create button right here. Then we'll click and then click Create Campaign. And you'll see we have four options here, but today we're going to cover Galaxy OAT. Galaxy OAT is a on-chain achievement token, a gasless NFT solution to engage and reward users for various actions taken on-chain or off-chain. First, we'll just click right here. After we click Create on the OAT campaign, you'll see the first two steps are the title and description. I've put an example of what might be a title or description for a random campaign on the platform. Over to the right, you'll see here we have the upload space for the art that you'll be using for the NFT. Make sure you follow the parameters right here. After we have input the title, description, and media file, we'll head down to the location, network, campaign period, and permissions. The location is only to be used for offline events. Enter the event location, for example, New York. If it's online, this can be left blank. Next is the network. So this is the chain that the OAT will be generated on. We use a general NFT core for Matic and BSC. Beyond that, the network cannot be changed. Next is campaign period. Here you'll see the claimable time period based on your own device time. I've set the time here for September 26th at 1 a.m. to September 30th at 2 a.m. If you'd like, you can also have no end time for the campaign. Finally is the permissions. This is to choose whether this is a public or private campaign. A public campaign appears on the campaign page and space page publicly, whereas a private campaign can only be accessed through a specified link. After we have filled out and double checked all of our information, we'll click the blue next button on the bottom right, or at this point, if you need to, you can also click to save the draft and come back to this later. Next, we head into the who is eligible page. First, I'm going to cover open to all, minting cap, and the credential area. And then finally, we'll go over third party websites. To tick the box open to all, this will make the campaign eligible to anyone on the site without any task requirements. Keeping this off, make sure they have to complete a credential to receive the NFT. The minting cap is very straightforward. As you can see here, I have listed the number 1000. This is the overall limit amount of NFTs to be allocated for this campaign. This can also be edited afterwards at the discretion of the campaign creator. A credential is a qualification, achievement, or aspect of a person's background that represents user footprints on the blockchain. In the credential section, you will search for a credential, for an example, like and retweet, and you'll see that this credential gives you one entry to mint one NFT. An important thing to note is that this credential right now equals one entry. We can change this to five entries if we'd like. We can also choose a second credential and have one and the other amount to five entries or one or the other amount to five entries or one or the other amount to one entry. This is up to your creativity with the campaign. Going further than having one and the other credential receive one entry, we can also add a new column to decide whether or not another credential equals one entry. In this case, users will have the option of going for one category or the other category. Just make sure that you are very clear on whether each column says and or or, as it will only apply to that single column. Integrating campaign claiming into third party websites. Click to toggle this on or off. If you want to integrate this campaign into your website, please tick this option. Please note that we only support the integration of non open to all campaigns into your website. If you'd like to learn how to integrate, please click the hyperlink here and follow along with the instructions. After you have decided on your credential information, Head back and check over your main information to make sure you've input each field correctly and that the artwork you've uploaded is the correct file. After you check all of your information, head down to either the bottom left or the bottom right. If you're going to release the campaign, you'll click the release button and then you'll sign the transaction that pops up in the top right. You'll see that you have released the campaign successfully and you are on your way. This has been a tutorial on creating an OAT campaign. Thank you for listening and see you next time.